So we have some interesting questions. I'm going to give the question and the answer. Don't fear. <laughs> <laughs> the first question. Is there a difference between accepting Christ to be saved and indwelling or formation of Christ in us? Is the question clear? So this, of course, we, we may think ourselves that way. From the above, from these two references, and also clear in many of Paul's writings to the Romans, the Colossians, Ephesians, we understand that the beginning point is accepting the saving grace. But then the believers need to receive Christ himself as a person in a spirit, as their own savior. Actually, what is accepted at the beginning is a saving grace, and this saving grace is something different from the person of Christ as a savior. So from these references, and also from other writings of, of, uh, uh, in Romans, Colossians, Ephesians, 그래서 이두 개의 성경 구절과 로마서 말씀, 에베소, 또 에베소서와 골로새서 말씀을 통해서 So we know that the beginning, the first step is, or the first, the beginning point, is to accept the saving grace. So, 이것의 처음 시작은 그러니까 그 구원하시는 은혜를 받아들이는 것이 첫 단계입니다. But then the believers need to receive Christ himself as a person. 그리고 나서는 믿는 자는 그리스도를 그 인격이신 주님 자체를 받아들여야 된다는 것이에요. So this means that the, the first point, the beginning point, saving grace is different from Christ as a savior. However, However, this saving grace can be stunted. We can stop at this point where we are actually saved, but in this case, we will not be working out our salvation with fear and trembling, as Paul says in Philippians 2.12. The person can live and die only at the stage of being saved, and the Christ will not be formed in him. However, this saving grace can be stunted. 근데 그러나 이런 이 구원해 주시는 은혜가 정지될 수 있다는 것입니다. We can stop at this point where we are actually saved, but in 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 the same time we are not working out our salvation. 그러니까 우리가 이 구원하시는 단계에서 우리가 딱 거기서 구원받고 멈출 수가 있어요. 그래서 구원하시는 은혜가 성장하는 것이 정지될 수가 있습니다. Remember in Philippians 2:12, it is like commandment. Paul says. With that we have worked out our salvation with fear and trembling. 기억하시죠? 빌립보서 2장 12절 말씀에요. 바울에게 명령하셨습니다. 빌립보서 2장 12절 말씀에 그러므로 너희가 더 복종하여 항상 복종하여 두렵고 떨림으로 너희 구원을 이루라고 명령하셨는데 우리가 그걸 안 하고 정지할 수 있다는 것입니다. It is very important because the person can live and die only at the stage of being saved. And Christ is not formed in him or in her. The person can live and die only at that stage of being saved, but Christ is not formed. Therefore, salvation has been done and completed. And also salvation needs to be worked out. It has been completed by Jesus, and I received it as a saving grace. But I need to work it out to receive the Savior as a person lives in me. When we receive it, it is saving grace. When we, work it out, when we work it out, it is a saving Savior. It is a saving Christ for me in us. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath eternal life, 
and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me, and I in him.